Well, the Bay Area marking three years since the start of its COVID lockdown, and we are moving you forward. Today in the Bay's Bob Rodell, live in the East Bay. And Bob, one prominent Bay Area doctor is warning that the next pandemic may be harder to fight. You are correct. Good morning to Gia and Marcus. Uh, when the COVID lockdowns and mask mandates started three years ago here in the Bay Area, most people complied. There was little pushback. And Dr. Bob Wachter, he's the, the chair of medicine at uh, UCSF. Uh, he thinks that as a result, hundreds of lives were saved nationwide. But he's worried that if there is another pandemic in, let's say, five to ten years, there will be a lot of people who remember COVID and they will push back on mandates and closures on day one, in his opinion, and more people will be killed unnecessarily as a result. Three years into COVID, he thinks the time for mandates has passed, but points out that COVID is still here, currently at a moderate spread in our area. At UCSF, there's only about 20 to 25 patients with COVID in the hospital, much less than the 150 COVID patients that were treated a year ago. He also worries that people aren't getting good information about where to mask up. He still masks up on airplanes in crowded places, and he's concerned about inf misinformation about vaccines. Studies and research show that the shots are safe and effective. Well, I think for COVID, we're settling into a rhythm that will probably be the rhythm for maybe forever, which is that the uh, that the vaccines provide relatively little protection, maybe for a couple of months against getting an infection, uh, but really quite good protection against getting very, very sick and moderate protection against long COVID. And so unless you're at super high risk, by which I mean you're probably over 75 or you have other medical comorbidities or immunosuppression, getting a yearly shot will probably be good enough. Incidentally, young children now have more protection against COVID-19. Yesterday, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration authorized Pfizer's Omicron booster for kids under the age of five. This is specifically for kids between the ages of six months through four years of age who received a three primary dose series more than two months ago. Reporting live, Bob Rodell, today in the Bay.